What is the best home planetarium galaxy star projector? Feeling overwhelmed by all the options out there? Fear not, as we're gonna jump into my results of an in-depth comparison of all the top-rated disc-based galaxy projectors. As always, prices and deal links are in the description below if you're looking to purchase. If you're new to the channel, this is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. So we have our four projectors here in front of us, the Sega Flux, the DSFX, the Pococo projector, and the Orzos projector. These are, in my opinion, the best and most popular, most sold Galaxy disc-based projectors you can purchase off Amazon right now. So I've done dedicated videos on these projectors if you're interested in going more in depth on a particular projector. However, this video is gonna focus on just the comparisons that I've done to see how they differ against each other. Let's jump into the tests. We're gonna start off with the Northern Hemisphere Galaxy Disc here. This will probably be the best comparison of the video as it's the most universal disc that is most similar between all the projectors. This allows us a sort of control variable to exemplify the differences between all the projectors. All the tests were shot with the camera settings locked onto a white ceiling and each projector was set on the floor in the same place. There is a flat lighting fixture on the ceiling you may be able to spot as a bit of a diffused blur area. Chances are you'll probably have a lighting fixture on your ceiling as well, so bear that in mind. Starting with the DSFX projector. This projector offers only a few disc options currently, and all of their discs are actually chrome discs. Using a chrome disc is a premium advantage, as this means the discs can be much more detailed and pack millions more stars. This will help with the overall overall realism of the projected image, as well the disc should never fade unlike the regular film discs that could potentially be susceptible to fading after many uses. However, the chrome discs will absorb more light, resulting in a dimmer image, as well all the projections will now be black and white only. The Sega Flux projector features large style discs as well as the addition of a shooting star mechanism. While not quite as detailed as using chrome discs, the Sega Flux has has a quite pleasing projection from its super large disc size, the largest of all the projectors. This does offer a more high-end projection with full color and vivid detail, as we'll see later on. The Sega Flux features a large collection of many different disc projection offerings. Moving into the Pococo projector now, perhaps the best budget choice of the bunch. Just like the Sega Flux, the Pococo projector features a vast library of disc offerings. The discs are small at about the size of a nickel, but it's a solid planetarium galaxy projector choice. Interestingly enough, both the Pococo and the Orzos projector discs are backwards compatible, meaning you can buy discs from either manufacturer and they'll work in either projector. As we take a look at the Orzos, projector with the same disc used, we can see they're quite similar. However, right off the bat, we can see the projection surface area is much smaller and more condensed. Now this does make for a bit of a brighter, punchier, and more contrasty image, but I think having a wider surface area projection is more ideal, as we see on the Pococo. As we go back to the side-by-side, -side, you can see the Orzos has the smallest area of coverage when compared to the Pococo with the exact same disc used. For this reason, if you're trying to decide between the Orzos or Pococo, understanding this difference could help to make your decision. Let's dive further into these two projectors to exemplify this difference. Here we have the moon disc, first on the Pococo projector, now on the Orzos projector. We can see the image is now covering a smaller area and the light is not spreading as evenly. In this disc, we can even see that there is now a bit of a light hotspot on the Orzos projector. Here's the side by side now where we can see the image is much larger on the Pococo and there isn't any of that hot spotting. I'd likely lean towards the Pococo with the larger, more even surface area light coverage rather than the smaller, albeit a bit brighter area of coverage on the Orzos projector 
whereas the light is being more condensed to a smaller area in more of a spotlight effect. There also seems to be a bit of lens blur on the Orzos projector, kind of near the center of the image, and we really shouldn't be seeing any of this. You can see on the Pococo, it is still nice and sharp and clear in this same area. Let's add the DSFX into the mix now, as they also offer a similarly themed moon disc. I do really like this disc personally. Again, given the chrome disc type, we can really see that detail start to come through in the clarity of the moon and the vast amount of stars it offers. It definitely offers a certain richness to it. Although, like I had mentioned earlier, we do compromise on the amount of light output using a chrome disc, resulting in a dimmer image. We'll flash back now to the moon discs on the Pococo and Orzos for comparison. And now we'll look at the side by side between all three. And now just between the Pococo and the DSFX to try to get an even better sense of the differences between the two. I wish the Sega Flux has a comparable disc I could have thrown into the mix here, which they may make, I haven't actually checked, I just don't have one in my collection. Okay, so we'll move on to some funkier discs now, and I'll throw in two examples from the Sega Flux. First, a Cosmic Galaxy type disc, and secondly, a Solar System disc. These are two really great examples of the potential and strengths of the Sega Flux with its bright output and vivid colors when it has the right disc. Now moving into the DSFX with a Saturn planet disc. Again, a nice detailed image. However, we are constricted, as I've mentioned, to the black and white medium of the chrome disc. Lastly, we have a large colored Saturn disc on the Pococo projector. Here's the side by side of all these discs to take a look at. And we can start to see why potentially the Sega Flux is the most premium projector of the bunch. However, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best one for you. The DSFX is certainly an interesting choice with its chrome discs as I've highlighted the advantages and disadvantages, and the Pococo and Orzos being the best budget options for a disc-based projector that can certainly compete. When choosing, I tried to figure out which style you like the best and which discs you're going to want to use to help you make your choice. Here's a bonus comparison comparing the Pococo and Orzos of one of my personal favorites, the Jellyfish disc. Again, as we move from the same disc on the Pococo to the Orzos, we really see again that difference in projection from the two projectors. The Orzos has a more spotlight projection style and the Pococo a more even wider light distribution in its projection. Just for fun, the Sega Flux system also has a Jellyfish disc among a ton of other options. And lastly, here's a side-by-side -side of the two Jellyfish discs from the Pococo and the Sega Flux. Which one do you think you like better? I hope that helps to make a decision on which projector you think is the best for you. If you're considering buying any of these, make sure to check the prices and deal links in the description. Using these links help to support the channel and allow me to keep making detailed reviews and comparisons like these. Okay, so all these results are great, but perhaps what you're really looking for is a laser-based galaxy projector. Laser-based projectors are a great tool to use for mood setting. And unlike disc-based galaxy projectors, they're usually brighter and more stylistic, meaning they can be combined with other mood setting lights if that's what you're looking for. Lucky for you, I've also made an up-to-date comparison video of the best laser star projectors, similar to this video, which should be popping up on screen right now. So click it, click it now, and I'll see you in the next one.